Tom McKay from the City of Coburn. I'm the Marina and Coastal Engineering Officer. We've had erosion issues here at Sea Icona Beach for um, quite a few years now. Uh, it's got worse in the last five years to the point that we, um, north and south of the Captain Point Bourne, we're having to do sand nourishment uh, almost every year. Hi, I'm Matthew Allen. I'm the founder of Subcon and we're passionate about enabling ocean communities to thrive. Our team of engineers are based in Henderson in Western Australia and we've pioneered the concept of engineered fringing reefs. We executed the first two years ago for the UN in Mauritius, in a place called Montmorency, and we've had UWA uh, engineers monitoring the reef for its wave attenuation properties and transmission coefficients. Behind us here we've got um, the north end of CY Icona Beach uh, and we're standing on the Catherine Point groin. Catherine Point um, meets up with Success Bank that runs out across Coburn Sound and it's a bit of an inflection point for sediment transport along the coast. Uh, typically sediment in a net basis moves south to the south side of the groin and it moves north to the north side and historically there's always been a bit of an onshore sediment feed. Uh, which has reduced in the last couple of decades. It's the case where sediments move away from this point, but there isn't much new stuff coming in. As an interim measure, we bring sand from further south down CY Icona Beach, where it accumulates in front of Port Coogee, and we um, bring it back up to this end of the beach as an interim measure to nourish the beach and at least slow down and mitigate the effects of the erosion here. This project that we've proposed here will be a leading working with nature solution for coastal erosion control. Our theory is that we can build porous, partially submerged fringing reefs that provide wave attenuation to the shoreline in storm events, and also through normal operating conditions provide public amenity and also habitat for marine flora and flora. Hello, my name's Chris Beaton. I'm the environmental manager at the city of Coburn. Fuji Maritime Trail was a, a concept that was thought of to actually provide habitat for some of the fish species and marine species that were devoid in that area. We um, came up with an idea to form an artificial reef to promote um, habitat for some of our sea life. And um, it's been a roaring success in the three to four years that it's been in. It's extremely popular with the community and we've just uh, passed over 100 fish species and uh, Chris Beaton who you saw earlier on the video and myself got to swim with a manta ray down there just a couple of weeks ago. We'd love to see that kind of diversity and ecological benefit happen here. My name is Justin, I'm a PhD researcher at UWA. My research is based on looking at the uh, drag and inertia coefficients of different coral reef structures and I'm helping out Subcon here with a bit of wave attenuation as well as drag parameters. Where we're standing now is at the end of Rollinson Road. It's an area that actually is impacted quite heavily by erosion we have a storm event we usually use quite, lose quite a bit of sand on the beachfront here so our plan is to use the the knowledge that we've gained by putting an artificial reef into Port Fiji and do the same sort of thing here but not so much to provide habitat but also to protect the beach increase the amenity that we seem to be losing over the years at this particular site. We have a design study underway at the moment that's being undertaken by MP Rogers um, and as part of that they've um, set up a sediment and wave body that will help us understand the likely performance and response of a number of different erosion mitigation structures that could include groins or seawalls or nourishment or a combination of that or other novel approaches. Uh, a really strong thing that we heard from the community when we were engaging in community consultation for our design study was that they want to retain a usable, amenable and natural beach. Um, that's not always easy to do when you're trying to prevent erosion, um, but the great thing about uh, engineered fringing reef that we're proposing here is that it can sit low in the water and maintains most of the beach amenity and has minimal change to the beach while still providing some reduction and benefit 
uh, in terms of wave attenuation and reducing erosion and also reducing our ongoing sand nourishment requirements. Um, so that results in less expenditure, less impact on the beach when we're nourishing and uh, less closure of the beach for the community. Another good thing about a modular system like this is that it is modular um, and that it's low risk. So if we need to improve the layout, that can be done. If we need to add to it or we need to reduce it in size, that's also quite possible. Whereas more conventional solutions are quite permanent and don't have that flexibility. You do understand that anything we can do that uh, retains the beach, retains the amenity and works with nature while still reducing the effects of erosion is a good thing. Uh, and we think that um, considering something like an engineered reef could have, have real benefits for the community.